Hello, hello, and welcome to a mind elevation with Shavariel. That is me. <laughs> now, in the last video, the previous video, I spoke about business emails and why you need one. Of course, because when you need to be contacted, a good email and a telephone number, business telephone number, business email is what we need. Um, as an entrepreneur, as a business startup, even if you're already establishing your business, having a way to contact you is key because, of course, there are many, many things to handle in emails as far as business inquiries. So uh, this one, I'm going to talk about business email signatures. Now, everybody, I believe every person should have their own personal email signature. So that's your first name, last initial, period. Or if you want to do your first la first full name and last full name, then you can do that. Whatever is appropriate for you to use, go ahead and do that. But also, if you do have a business and you are a business owner, go ahead and create a business email signature. That is going to be key. Now, let's talk about the business side of it. First name, last initial, first name, last name, and then you do your title uh, that you have within your own business, and then you have your telephone number, business telephone number, business email, and your website, and then boom, your brand logo on there. And the reason why that is so important is because it is not appropriate for you to respond to your customer or your clients, customers, clients, or vendors and you send an email and it says sent on iPhone at the end of that email thread and you're just like come on now you couldn't like erase that or sent from Android sent on Android it's like come on you got to you got to delete that come on that don't look good so you want to represent you your brand in a polished way and when I say polish I'm not saying go with the flow of thing. No, you put your flavor into that email. You put you into that email. You put your creativity in that email to say, look, this is what I represent. Here's my brand and I'm not like any other. Ta-da! And then there you go. And then to the personal aspect of it, everybody should have a personal email signature because it just looks better. Like again, if you need to email your medical physician something, go ahead and put your name in that in that personal email signature. All you do is type in your name, first last name initial, or first last name, first name, last name, change the font to where it's readable, <laughs> and then click save. That way when you are done with interacting in that email, you just copy and paste your email signature in there and then it's all set and done. So that's what I recommend. And, and the reason why I recommend both, so personal email signature and business email signature, if you do have a business, is because it just makes communicating more personable. Like you're not just talking with a person who just has no thought about what they're saying to you. And then they close the email out just, okay, thanks. Or thanks, have a good day. Yes, that's cool. But you want to leave every person that you interact with, you want to leave a little better. And so there it is. So I give that to you. I hope that you like this video. Go ahead and subscribe to Mind Elevation Nation. Go ahead and be in this atmosphere of us excelling. That means you elevating to excellence and we'll talk again soon all right now you have a good day